You're so trusted and open, hoping that love will start, but I don't have the heart, oh no, I don't have the heart. I gotta stop. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the second day of Kwanzaa, my people. My people is everybody that get it. Anybody that stands on the side of humanity is my people. Those are my people, okay? So, with that being said, y'all, I got a real, real sweet article that this is what um, they say we should focus on. They say there's a few of us that are going to have a hard time the first few weeks um, starting today, actually. And you may ask, what? Yeah, there's a few zodiac, zodiac signs that they claim are going to have a little rougher time than the rest of y'all. Okay. Um, actually, the article is entitled Three Zodiac Signs Who Will Have a Rough Week Starting December 27th, which is today. Okay. This is written by Ruby Miranda. Okay. So we're going to check this out. With the year at its end, it, this very last week could be a shaky one. Endings are hard enough. We've all been through so much over the last year. And that hell ride of a year that came before it. That. Damn. Weeks like this can bring melancholy and a few tears. It might be best to just let the tears flow so that we can purge ourselves of all the negativity that we've picked up before we march into 2022. Well, I will tell you something. In case I didn't share it with you before, I spent um, Christmas, I believe, the 25th, yeah, crying. Um, there was a lot of tears. There was a lot of purging. There was a lot of cleansing. Um, I've had a lot of loss, that, as a lot of you have this year. And um, it, it just, it was overbearing. It was overbearing for me emotionally. So what I did was I let the feelings just have its way with in my spirit. And I let love rule and I let myself be honest. And when I did that and I sat in the corner, um, lit my candles and began to purge, I began to cry. I began to cry for all the people who have been murdered. You know, because we all going to go sometime. But sometimes it's the way we leave here that leaves the heart longing on the people that we leave behind. So when you have somebody that get murdered, when you have somebody that get taken out, because see, to me, you don't got no fucking business taking somebody's life that you didn't give unless they're trying to take yours. So... I have a whole way of dealing with the streets. And that's how we dealt with it when I was coming up. See, it's a whole different mantra sometimes now. So, um, those are the things that we, you know, you have to stay mindful of. So, it said we have the moon in Scorpio, which doesn't exactly help. And moon square Pluto will serve to exacerbate any negative feelings that we have. We all know that this will pass, and yet we can't help ourselves. It's as if there's a space for us that's been made solely to store our self-pity. Hmm. The one thing that works out for everyone during this week is that it's temporary, okay? And we all know it for which, um, which is why it's kind of easy to release our emotional baggage now because we all know it's going to pass. So, 
If you're not up for the party, then stay home and be happy. If you're not up for smiling, then frown and do it your way. But in the long run, we're only human and we can't be the life of the party every single day. So here's to life. All right, Aries, we going to have a rough week. And that's all of us born from March 21st to April 19th. We will do what we want to do. And that's the law of the land. Done, kaput, over. But this week has you on edge. You have no intention of following the flock. And if they're all about doing this or that, you will make it known that you want nothing to do with it. While this isn't exactly what makes it a, a rough week, it's going to be rough for you, those who are in your closest circle. Then again, Anyone who is close to you knows your moods and your limits. And when you decide to not be involved, the hub butt of the week, then that's exactly what goes. You don't care what others think. Their perception of you isn't your business. All you care about this week is remaining true to yourself and staying away from events that you have no interest in. You better remember that. And I think we pretty much got a blueprint on that. I know I do. I don't participate in nothing that's going to bring me sadness. I don't participate in nothing that's going to upset my equilibrium. And then you have people say, oh, that's great because it toughens your, um, uh, 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 you know, it, it toughens you up to do. No, nah, you get enough toughness. Of dealing with situations just living, at least in my perception and in my life. And at this stage of the game, peace is what it's about for me. So anything that's going to um, disrupt my peace, I try to stay strictly away from it. I got one life to live, just like the soap opera. And damn it, I don't want to live it worrying about a whole bunch of shit that don't matter to me. Okay, y'all got one life and this is what you be this is what I know so far. And like I've said on many occasions, you need to see yourself down at the bottom of the ocean where it's real peaceful. It's real quiet. In fact, everything moves in slow motion. That's where you need to try to stay. That's the state we need to try to stay in. Okay? And, that, and make that state your everyday state. That state should be a state of existence for you. Because when you go to the top of the ocean, you're going to see all kinds of activities. You're going to see people sailing. You're going to see people water poloing. You're going to see people just on their sailboats. You're going to see all kinds of activity on top of the ocean. And each one of those activities represents some shit that's happening in the society. Can you imagine that? Imagine a crowded damn lake and all the games, the beach ball, volleys, and all the games you see... All those things, each and every one, represent some type of situation going on on top of the water. You understand what I'm saying? And it's too much. Your head be on the swivel. So your uh, duty is to stay where it's calm. Stay where it's peaceful. Okay? Now, for y'all Scorpios, the first... <laughs> Scorpios or something else. My brother Rick. He's no longer here. My sister. Linda. She's no longer here. Um, and But this is for the Scorpios. Out there. You may feel. A rush of power this week Scorpio. Um. As the moon is in your sign, making you feel rather pushy, you crave change and you mean to go about creating it. If someone disagrees with you, then you will fight them. You're just not in the mood. Most of y'all know that my father, the Scorpio, and <laughs> born the same day as Ken. 
Most of y'all know who Ken was. Y'all didn't listen to me long enough. If you don't, he's the guy that stalked Johnny Carson. Anyway, it's one of those my way or the highway weeks for you. And while that might sound selfish or imposing, it's not your concern. You don't care if you come across like a ramrod boss because you've learned to use your manipulative skills to get what you want. And this week presents to you something very much do want. You very want much want this. To get it though, you might have to mow someone down. Now that's figuratively, of course. But it's going to be worth it. Right now, you want success more than you want friendships. And that's okay. If that's what it is, that's what it is. <coughs> Aquarius. Y'all from January 20th to February 18th. Hmm. It's interesting. One of the most healthiest relationships I've been in is with Aquarius. Um, okay. It's the last week of the year, and you are presented with an idea. Act now or forever lose the opportunity. Nothing angers an Aquarius more than having to make a choice that's based on some radical set of opposites. Ooh. Ooh, really? You will be handed an ultimatum this week. And much to everybody's surprise, you will reject the offer. They say this or this. You respond with, I'll do it my way. Thank you. Pass. You have no problem choosing as long as you get to decide what the choices are. So this week is going to test that trait of yours. But in the end now, You'd rather lose an opportunity than be passively aggressive, cajoled into making a choice that isn't really for you. So, those are the three signs, and I'm included, that will have supposedly a rough day starting today. And I think... That's very interesting because a lot of y'all don't believe in um, chartering the stars and things of that nature. Um, but I do. And I'm a very, very um, true believer of people use therapy by chartering the stars to deal with your personality. And if you think about the three kings and the stories of following the North Star. And there's a lot of logic and there's a lot of spirituality in it. But we're not going to go into that now. I just wanted to give the Scorpios, the Aries, and the Aquarius. Um, I wanted to put y'all on notice. Okay, And y'all tell me what y'all think. Y'all think that uh, there's nothing to mm, zodiac signs and all that hocus pocus. Um, let me know. Put your comment below. I would love to hear from you. Tell me what you think. Okay? Alright. See you in the next video.